The Vilux Foundations have decided a new strategy for the coming 10 years, uh, meaning from 2018 to 2028. Uh, the new strategy is about uh, vocational education and training in Europe in general and specifically in Central and Eastern Europe. Vocational training is built into uh, all European societies as part of a hundred and hundreds and hundreds of years old tradition of learning a skill that you are using for practical purposes. Becoming a baker, a hairdresser, a carpenter, a painter, whatever kind of profession that is uh, within the practical field. Why do we want to support, why do we want to develop vocational education and training? Um, Basically, there's all over Europe a lack of people with uh, uh, qualified uh, skills for uh, this sector. Uh, in many years, we have been uh, looking for white collar work and uh, we are now in the situation that we simply lack labor force. We do it, we lack labor force in Northern Europe, but we also now lack this kind of labor force in uh, Central and Eastern Europe. So that's what we're looking for. Basically to raise the quality, to help in areas where it is needed and to move the quality in the schools uh, as, as the basic principle of developing schools. So we are not looking for, uh, for defining the way the schools themselves, uh, the nations themselves have defined the way. What we can do is then to additionally try to help improving quality. We are focusing in three areas where we think we can make a difference. The first is mobility, meaning that we will support youngsters, teachers, managers to go abroad to, to study and see new things and then come home and uh, consider which could be helpful in our situation. So you can say you're traveling out to come home and coming home means with new inspiration basically. Second area is what we call excellence, meaning that we are trying to find the areas that are uh, the mostly discussed in the different countries and try to develop them to excellence. One is recognition of prior learning. We know that that's a hot topic, you could say, in many European countries. Uh, another one would be closer relationships to companies, uh, closer cooperation with companies and practice places within the industry as part of the education. One is dual education. Uh, so in different countries, in different areas and in different trades, there are different hot topics, you could say, where we could help in a period of time with developing the quality and the area. The third area is vocational education and training in an initial way, meaning IVET. Initial vocational education and training is about uh, groups of people who have difficulties in the labor market, areas where you maybe only need part the qualification, not the full qualification. So it's the area where you, where you can say we are thinking more socially. We have supported already this uh, first year when we have been working with this uh, some projects that you could uh, use as examples. One is the uh, Italian woodworking uh, school that is working in uh, Milan. Uh, and the basic purpose you could say is to have youngsters in and teach them uh, what the industry, what the wooden industry needs. They have been applying Basically, with a smashing uh, idea, you could say, of developing the knowledge of the soul of the wood. And that was uh, actually quite astonishing what, uh, what they have been thinking. And they are now f have now finished their building and are starting their educations.
And then who can apply? Um, basically anybody can apply who has a non-commercial uh, way of working, either institutions, uh, municipalities, uh, regions, uh, uh, NGOs, uh, whoever is interested in and is focusing on working within vocational education and training, making new projects, making quality improvement in the sector. Anybody. And we mean anybody. <laughs>